The White House press spokesperson Jay Carney took a question from a reporter about the NSA and recent spying abuses, more spying abuses, and he is going to have the weakest response in the history of White House press spokespeople. Victoria. Jay, the NSA is lurking in the background of your game of Angry Birds, yeah. uh, waiting to scoop up all your personal data as you lob hapless creatures into the air. I mean, it, it seems like this is the last bastion of American I think that's going to be on the radio, that question. Reached. <laughs> I mean, there seems to be something particularly egregious about going after leaky apps. Well, I, I think that... You need to uh, understand that, of course, I'm not in a position to discuss specifics of intelligence collection. But to be clear, as the President said uh, in his January 17 speech, to the extent data is collected by the NSA through whatever means, we are not interested in the communications of people who are not valid foreign intelligence targets. And we are not after the information of ordinary Americans, which uh, presumably contradicts the premise of your question. Why are they taking it? Again, Victoria, I can't discuss specific uh, means of data collection, but to the extent that the NSA collects information, it is focused on uh, valid foreign intelligence targets and not the information of ordinary Americans. Okay. Look, I mean, t terrorists, proliferators, other bad actors use the same communications tools that others use. But the, well, they use the same communications tools. Are, are you saying that if a terrorist uh, uses an app, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even sure what, what protection you're seeking there for a potential terrorist, but the... I'm seeking protection. No, no, but I mean, in, in the... What I'm saying is that the NSA, in its collection, is focused on uh, the communication of people who are valid foreign intelligence targets. They are not focused on the information of ordinary Americans, and that's... That, that's the case in answer to questions about, uh, you know, the variety of revelations uh, that have been made in the press. I can't answer your question, but you're wrong. That's what Jay Carney is saying there. See, that sounded like George W. Bush. That sounded like a dumbass neoconservative rationalizing civil liberties abuses. Oh, so what are you saying? You, well, you're saying you want terrorists to attack the U.S.? You're saying you're cool with that? Are you okay with... So that's what it is? You're just cool with terrorists just being left alone and doing whatever they want to do? Right, Jay, that's exactly what she said. So what he's saying is, yes, we spy on Angry Birds, but don't worry about it. Yes, we spy on World of Warcraft, but don't worry about it. Yes, we spied on porn habits to discredit radicalizers, but don't worry about it. Yes, we spied on the Vatican and the Pope, we spied on the French citizens in France, not even like, hey, we have terrorism suspect. We spied on French citizens. We spied on the president of Brazil, the prime minister of Germany's personal phone, because, of course, she's suspected Al-Qaeda. Yes, we mimic Google to monitor certain web users. Yes, NSA workers spied on their love interests. Yes, there was a report that said there were... 2,776 violations in just one year. Yes, we spied domestically and gave the information to the DEA for them to crack down on drug users. And yes, there hasn't been a single terrorist attack prevented by spying, but don't worry because you're wrong. There are no abuses. Yeah, but Jay, hold on a second, man. All of those things that we just went through are abuses. And they're factual. They've been widely reported on from all different news organizations, things you would consider nonpartisan, things you would consider right-wing and left-wing. 